Hello, this is Kalitha um, Albert, and today I'm going to be reading Daniel. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know that um, I was raised as a Jehovah's Witness, but before that, um, we were members of a church. My grandmother's church was in Sunnyside, in the south side of Houston. And even though my mother decided to become a Jehovah's Witness, it does not mean that I just don't believe in God anymore or anything like that. It's just that I have made my own choices. The way that I was able to get out of Jehovah's Witnesses is by reading the Bible. <laughs> so when I heard the rhetoric coming across um, the podium or mic stand or whatever from the stage I was just like that's not even that's not even biblical so it was the word of God the Bible that actually freed me from a cult <laughs> um, the only thing is that the, the Bible doesn't have everything it doesn't have everything in there and the reason why it doesn't have everything in there is because you're supposed to have a personal relationship with God and with Holy Spirit. You're supposed to be praying every day. Um, it's just like in any relationship. You can't have a relationship with a person that you live with, your husband. Um, you know, or I'm going to say it just like for me. I've written several books. They're on Amazon. Um, if you're new to my channel, please check those out. Um, and I have my Facebook pages. Please like those pages, follow those pages. Um, if someone is married to me, we're in a relationship. But all they do is just read my books and reread my books and they never talk to me. That's not a relationship. Right? So let's start <laughs> by saying a prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. That was the Lord's Prayer. It's found in uh, the book of Matthew chapter 6. So today we are doing Daniel chapter 5. I may go a little further, but that's where we're going to start. No, no, no. 5 will do it. It is. The writing on the wall. King Belshazzar gave a great banquet for a thousand of his nobles and drank wine with them. While Belshazzar was drinking his wine, he gave orders to bring in the gold and silver goblets that Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem so that the king and his nobles, his wives, and his concubines might drink from them. So they brought in the gold goblets that had been taken from the temple of God in Jerusalem. And the king and his nobles, his wives, and his concubines drank from them. As they drank the wine, they praised the gods of gold and silver, of bronze, iron, wood, and stone. Suddenly, the fingers of a human hand appeared and wrote on the plaster of the wall near the lampstand in the royal palace. The king watched the hand as it wrote. Oh, 
His face turned pale. And he was so frightened that his legs became weak and his knees were knocking. The king summoned enchanters and astrologers and diviners. Then he said to those wise men of Babylon, whoever reads this writing and tells me what it means will be clothed in purple and have a gold chain plated around his neck, placed around his neck. And he will be made the third highest ruler in this kingdom. Then all the king's wise men came in, but they could not read the writing or tell the king what it meant. So King Belshazzar became even more terrified and his face grew more pale. His nobles were baffled. The queen, hearing the voices of the king and his nobles, came into the banquet hall. May the king live forever, she said. Don't be alarmed. Don't look so pale. There is a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy gods in him. In the time of your father, he was found to have insight and intelligence and wisdom like that of the gods. Your father, King Nebuchadnezzar, appointed him chief of the magicians, enchanters, astrologers, and diviners. He did this because Daniel, whom the king called Belteshazzar, was found to have a keen mind and knowledge and understanding and also the ability to interpret dreams. Explain riddles and solve difficult problems. Call for Daniel and he will tell you what the writing means. So Daniel was brought before the king and the king said to him, Are you, Daniel, one of the exiles my father the king brought from Judah? I have heard that the spirit of the gods is in you and that you have insight, intelligence, and outstanding wisdom. The wise men and enchanters were brought before me to read this writing and tell me what it means. But they could not explain it. Now I have heard that you are able to give interpretations and to solve difficult problems. If you can read this writing and tell me what it means, you will be clothed in purple and have a gold chain placed around your neck and you will be made the third highest ruler in the kingdom. Then Daniel answered the king, you may keep your gifts for yourself and give your rewards to someone else. Nevertheless, I will read the writing for the king and tell him what it means. Your majesty, the most high God gave your father Nebuchadnezzar sovereignty and greatness and glory and splendor. Because of the high position he gave him, all the nations and people of every language dreaded and feared him. Those the king wanted to put to death, he put to death. Those he wanted to spare, he spared. Those he wanted to promote, he promoted. And those he wanted to, to humble, he humbled. But when his heart became arrogant and hardened with pride, 
he was deposed from his royal throne and stripped of his glory. He was given away. He was driven away from people and given the mind of an animal. He lived with the wild donkeys and ate grass like the ox. And his body was drenched with the dew of heaven until he acknowledged that the Most High God is sovereign over all kingdoms on earth and sets over them anyone he wishes. But you, Belshazzar, his son, have not humbled yourself. No, though you knew all this. Instead, you have set yourself up against the Lord of heaven. You had the goblets from his temple brought to you, and you and your nobles, your wives and your concubines drank wine from them. You praised the gods of silver and gold. <laughs> of bronze, wood, and stone, which cannot see or hear or understand. But you did not honor the God who holds in his hand your life and all of your ways. Therefore, he sent the hand that wrote the inscription. <laughs> this is the inscription that was written. Mimi, Mimi, Tikal Parson. Here is what these words mean. Mimi, God has numbered the days of your reign and brought it to an end. Tikal you have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. Paris, your kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. Then at Bel Belshazzar's command, <clears throat> Daniel was clothed in purple. A gold chain was placed around his neck and he was proclaimed the third highest ruler in the kingdom. That very night, Belshazzar, king of the Babylonians, was slain. And Darius the Mede took over the kingdom at the age of 62. <laughs> meany, meany, teakin, possum. Daniel chapter five. Bye bye now. <laughs>